All right. Are you losing money on buying or are you losing money on renting? That's the eternal question. My name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor here with Dutton, Ottawa. For more tips like this, follow our channel, Canada on the Rocks, and let's dig into it. A lot of folks making a lot of mistakes when it comes to figuring out if they should buy or should rent. The biggest one is not considering long-term financial goals for themselves. What that means is that they're essentially just going by the seat of their pants. They're trying to figure out if it's going to be a rent or a buy. They're just going with the flow and they're not necessarily sitting down with a mortgage broker or a financial advisor to figure out which one works best for their family. Mistake number two, ignoring the potential investment and wealth building over the years. When you're buying, one thing that a lot of folks don't understand is that, look, at the end of the day, when you buy a house, there's something called depreciation. Every year, that house, that asset, if you will, will start gaining a little bit more money. Uh, in Ottawa, it's about roughly around four and a half percent, five percent every year that your house will start gaining and building that equity. Mistake number three is the understanding the heading cost of buying versus rent. What that means, a lot of the times when you're buying a home, you're not necessarily understanding everything about the heading cost that comes with it. For example, you know, the fact that you have to pay for land transfer fee, the fact that you have to pay for a lawyer to help you with the transaction, the fact that, you know, you would need potentially to have an inspector to, you know, double check on the house and, and make sure that it's, it's working properly. So there is that. But in, on the other side, for the renters, there is a lot of hidden costs as well. You know, at the end of the day, you're not necessarily given thought that it needs to be given. Uh, and all that money that you're putting through is actually going towards the rent and it's paying somebody else's mortgage instead of yours. For more tips like this, please hit the like and the subscribe and follow our channel Canada on the Rocks. And I'd love to see you for more videos like that.